Hello everyone. In the previous part, we discussed about cell organelle lysosomes and their structure functions. Today's topic is GE oral system. GE oral system. In that, G stands for Golgi body or Golgi complex. G stands for Golgi complex and ER stands for endoplasmic reticulum and L stands for lysosomes lysosomes in GE oral system these three cell organelles collectively works as a system or you understand these three collectively works for a particular function ok we already uh, discussed about Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum and lysosomes. You imagine that this is nuclear membrane. This structure of this membrane is nuclear membrane. From this endoplasmic reticulum is formed. Endoplasmic reticulum is nothing but blebbings of outer nuclear membrane that means evagination of outer nuclear membrane this is endoplasmic reticulum okay next Golgi bodies Golgi bodies are near to nucleus near to nucleus they are perinuclear in position Golgi bodies they have two phases concave phase and convex phase concave phase is always present towards plasma membrane and convex phase is always present towards nucleus these are the cisternae of Golgi bodies cisternae of Golgi bodies at the end of the Golgi bodies vacuoles are present small size structures are called vesicles and large size structures large size structures are known as vacuoles these red color structures are called vacuoles and small size structures are known as vesicles these are vesicles ok I am writing here these are vesicles and these are vacuoles vacuoles huh. next coming to lysosomes how the lysosomes are formed lysosomes are formed by the enlargement of cistern that means uh, here cisterne are enlarged in their size and they receive material then they form vacuoles these vacuoles are concentrated with hydrolytic enzymes hydrolytic enzymes then it is called primary lysosome that has inactive enzymes inactive enzymes then those vacuoles are called lysosomes I am writing here lysosomes lysosomes how these three cell organelles works as a system that is the question ok I will explain that uh, coming to first one endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum in that uh, these structures are cisterne on the cisterne what are present ribosomes are present these are ribosomes what is the function of ribosomes they synthesize proteins they are involved in proteins uh, here these are cisterne cisterne of endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum at the ends of cisterne again vesicles are present vesicles are present these vesicles are formed by the budding of a budding of uh, cistern they are pinched off from cistern these are vesicles vesicles ok uh, 
किया वाट है राइबोजोम्स आर स्टडेड ऑन द मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ सिस्टर ने दे सिंथेसाइज प्रोटीन्स दोज प्रोटीन्स आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन वेजिकल्स वेजिकल्स नाउ वाट हैपेंस दीज वेजिकल्स आर कमिंग टू कॉन्टैक्ट विद सिस्टर ने ऑफ गाल्जी बॉडीज दिस इज गाल्जी बॉडी वाट हैपनिंग हियर Vesicles are coming to contact with Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies. Then the material present in the vesicles are entered into the cisterne of Golgi bodies. These cisterne are connected with one another. They are connected with one another with their connections. Like this, they are connected so that. the substance which is present in the vesicle are now entered into the cisterne of golgi body and they are transported into another cisterne of golgi body like this they are diffused or transported within them later the the ends of the cisterne are swollen in their size and they are budding up to form vesicles or they are enlarged in their size and they form vacuoles those structures contain inactive hydrolytic enzymes these inactive hydrolytic enzyme contain structures are called lysosomes now lysosomes have inactive hydrolytic enzymes they work on food particles for example this is plasma membrane of cell this is plasma membrane of cell this is nucleus endoplasmic reticulum golgi body now lysosomes are formed outside the cell food particles are present these are the food particle this is the food particle this food particle is now entered into the cell this food particle is entered into the cell by the process of endocytosis endocytosis that means a cup like structure is formed in the to the cell wall that is invagination invagination of cell membrane leading to that a cup like structure is formed then these food particles are entered into that cup like structure later these food particles are pinched off and come into otherwise they are entered into the cell then the lysosomes the primary lysosomes inactive enzymes are present in this lysosome they are called primary lysosomes these primary lysosomes now come into contact with food particle food particle then the hydrolytic enzymes are activated that means active hydrolytic enzymes are present in the lysosome then it is called secondary secondary lysosome lysosome then what happens the enzymes are work on the food particle work on the food particle leading to formation of uh, simple substances those simple substances are absorbed by our body our body our cell absorbed by cell and undigested material undigested material is remain present in the lysosomes then these lysosomes are called tertiary lysosomes tertiary lysosomes tertiary lysosomes uh, here what happening from the golgi bodies sir from the endoplasmic reticulum Uh, vesicles are formed from there the material of the vesicle are transported to the cisterne of golgi bodies from golgi bodies to lysosomes are formed lysosomes are worked on food material and they digest the food material undigested food material is here formed this undigested food material now goes out Our undigested food material is thrown out from the cell by the process of exocytosis. Exo
cytosis exocytosis in this a cup like structure is formed undigested food material is present in that cup like structure then this is pinched off and it is released from the cell like this the uh, these three systems golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum and lysosomes collectively work as a system and they digest the food material and they absorb they are involved in the absorption of food uh, required minerals and food materials and they are also eliminating the undigested food materials from the cell along with that they are also maintain the uh, size of the shell cell they maintaining the size of the cell these are the uh, functions of lysosomes endoplasmic reticulum and golgi body and this is about GERL system in the next class i will come with another uh, cell organism thank you